Hello, hello. It has been forever since I vlogged, um, months. I mean, I think the last time I vlogged was in like winter of last year. So I'm excited to be vlogging again. I feel like I go through these phases where I either want to vlog all the time or I want to create like educational content and teach you how to journal. Like <laughs> there's no in between with me. It is one or the other is what you're getting but i don't know maybe maybe in 2022 i can find a way to like blend both of those things i am in a spot creatively right now where i'm not trying to put too much pressure on myself and i'm just letting things flow creatively as naturally as possible i feel like i get that way a lot in the winter around this time like i have tons of creative energy and creative idea but i also want like rest and renewal so finding that balance between both of those things is super important so anyway i just finished my coffee and my little morning routine which i'm thinking about vlogging that for another vlog um my morning routine is always changing it's always different but i think it would be cool to kind of show you where it's at right now especially because there's a lot of creativity um weaved into it but yeah Today I am leaving in a couple of hours to go hang out with my bestie. We're gonna decorate some Christmas cookies, so that should be fun. I don't know if I'll bring the camera there, but um, that means I only have a few hours to work. <laughs> it's gonna be a short day today, um, which is fine because literally the only thing I'm focused on right now is my workshop this Sunday, Creative Dreamer to Creative Doer. I don't know if you'll see this vlog before the workshop. Um, so if not, and it's something you're interested in, I do plan on hosting this workshop a couple of times a year. So be on the lookout. I'll let you know when the next one is. Um, but yeah, so that's my only focus today is finalizing the details for the workshop and uh, writing up some emails for that for the people who signed up and then starting on creating the workbook because at the last minute I was like, I'm gonna create a workbook for you for this workshop, um, which should be easy and great anyway. I'm excited to do it. So I'll start that today and then hopefully finish that tomorrow. But for now, I'm gonna go get myself out of my pajamas. I'm gonna put on some makeup and fix up my hair, get something to eat and then I'm gonna work. So, <laughs> I forgot to record myself working. <laughs> and now it's the end of my work day and I'm leaving to go to my friend's house to decorate cookies. So, apparently, we're vlogging again tomorrow morning um, and tomorrow because I cannot believe, like that's how long it's been since I vlogged, that I forgot to vlog. My bad. Hello, hello, another day, another vlog that I hope Lily actually vlog. Um, yeah, so last night was really good. Uh, we decorated, my friend and I decorated 90 cookies and it was such a good time. I didn't end up leaving there until like 10 or 10.30, I think. Um, so I ended up oversleeping today, literally slept through alarms and I never do that. Um, oh, my water's boiling for my oatmeal. <sighs> so yeah, I never sleep through my alarms. Like I'm such a light sleeper. I must have really needed it. But on today's agenda, uh, we have, let me see. I have a creativity session today with a um, recurring client at four. 
I have somebody who's interested in branding photography so um, for her like passion project which I'm so excited to do for her so I'm gonna get her all set up there and then I'm gonna finalize everything I didn't get to yesterday for the workshop so finishing up the workbook making sure all the details are good to go and honestly that might be all I get to today I have other things on my list that I could do um, but that might honestly be it <laughs> for quite a few hours earlier and got a lot of my stuff done um just fed myself ate lunch and watching youtube in the background <laughs> watching some of my favorite vloggers wow i can't deal with this light hold on it is 3 30 i'm going to go clean up my desk because i worked on the couch today mostly because it was like a I want to work on the couch kind of day but also because when we decorated for Christmas we had to move things around in our apartment <laughs> so um, things are just like an absolutely cluttered mess right now um, but I need to clean up because I have a client call at 4 and I want to make sure like my space is really clear and organized so that I can come to the session feeling clear and organized and it could just be this like beautiful swirl of creative ideas with like nothing blocking us externally so let's do that but let me just quickly show you um our christmas setup so our apartment is very tiny it is 500 square feet but this is where we put our christmas tree um that's our vacuum <laughs> and then this is our living room and it's so funny because you can tell that there's still light coming in from outside but it's just too dark to not have the lights on but anyway we did have the our dining table here um and it was really cute there's a pond out there so we got to see the pond when we ate and it was really nice but then we didn't have anywhere to put our christmas tree so ta-da <laughs> Oh my god this is so crazy but we had to put our dining room table here obviously you can see that i have not put away our fall decorations yet and then these boxes are literally things that we can't find room for in our apartment because we have very limited space and then my beautiful office so obviously that's not the ideal setup um, what we are planning on doing is taking all of those boxes that we can't find room for. And the reason we can't find room for them is because we downsized. So we actually own a house, which is a whole nother story, but we own a house. We had to leave that house. Then we rented a house and now we are in this apartment because the owners of the house we were renting moved back in. So we went from house to house <laughs> to very tiny apartment. And when that happens, you bring all the stuff from your house. So now we had, you know, a three bedroom house and then a two bedroom house and now a very tiny one bedroom apartment with stuff that we don't have room for. So our plan with the boxes in that corner is to bring it to my sister's um, apartment because she has a storage unit. We do not. But yeah, <laughs> a totally uncreativity related uh, stuff about my life and my personal things.
today? Well, it is like eight o'clock now. My session went beautifully and Ryan and I ate dinner and now I'm relaxing, turning my brain off. But before ending the vlog, I thought I would talk about something that has been on my mind as a creative and that's basically like tapping into all of my gifts and all of my talents and allowing myself to be multi-passionate instead of just being one thing and looking at myself creatively in one way so my whole life i was like i want to be a writer i mean i was creative in so many other ways i loved to paint when i was a kid i loved to draw i had like all of the lisa frank things um i remember my mom buying me a lisa frank like pottery <laughs> thing when i was a kid um so i've always been like incredibly creative but it hasn't been until recently that i've like allowed myself to tap into that fully um obviously i still do all of those things as hobbies and like to light myself up and to bring myself joy but ultimately i want to make a career out of being creative i want to follow this path in a way that is not only going to sustain me financially but allows me to be in this creative work every single day because that's what makes me feel good. So for a while I had this idea of being a writer, which that's who I am as a creative, like number one is a writer. Um, but I thought that was the end all be all. And I didn't realize that I could tap into all of these other creative gifts that I have to support myself as a writer. So of course I have my coaching and my courses and workshops and memberships and things that I've done um, in that way where I'm you know, helping other people and serving other people with the work that I do. Um, but I'm also allowing myself to branch out creatively. So right now I am working on opening an Etsy shop. I have sold poetry prints in the past, but I was like, why can't I open an Etsy shop and sell my journal deck and my poetry prints and my guided journals and maybe gift boxes down the road and the guided journal that I want to create. And then my dad was like, you can make mugs and put your poems on them. And you know, why can't I, why can't I like, what is it that stops us from using our gifts as a way to serve people but also make money and sustain ourselves and the creative part of me the creator in me is so excited about that like it's so silly but i'm like i really want to make mugs <laughs> that sounds fun to me that sounds like something that would light me up so why have i been putting myself in this creative box where it's like i'm just a writer or just a coach and i can't do anything else creatively i can't explore my other creative sides um i've also dabbled in photography for years now and i freelanced for a organization a couple years back um that i worked for and then i've also done lifestyle branding photography for some of my friends and i've done product photography and it was just something i did on the side and nothing that i ever took seriously i guess and now i'm like why can't i take that seriously why can't i along with being a writer and a creative and a creator and a coach also be a photographer so i don't know exactly what i'm trying to say here i guess i'm just playing around with all of my gifts and all of my talents and sometimes it feels overwhelming to be multi-passionate like it feels like you don't know where to start or where to stop <laughs> um and then in other ways i can see how all of these gifts that i'm leaning into really do blend so beautifully together and make each other work um you know for instance i coach creatives i coach other creatives and specifically other creatives who want to bring passion projects to life and now i'm going to be photographing people's products and their passion projects so 
in a way it's all like this big beautiful puzzle piece with all the different pieces that connect together and make up who I am as a creative and even though sometimes I can feel overwhelmed and feel like it's too much not just for me but for other people to take in it does make sense and it is part of who I am but yeah I just wanted to share that with some other creative people because I know that I am not alone on this creative path and creative journey of mine and the way that I sometimes feel about my process. Um, so if you are also a multi-passionate and you feel like you want to tap into all of your gifts but you don't know how or you feel like you shouldn't because it's confusing, like let me know because <laughs> I need some sense of community around this. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to end this vlog here and I will see you later.